Hi, I'm Jill Duffy, software analyst at PCNAG.com with some good news for Apple fans. iOS 8 is here. Well, at least the early version for developers is. We wanted to give you a quick hands-on look at some of the new features coming out in iOS 8. So first up is QuickType. This is definitely a place where Apple has taken a page from the Android playbook. When you start to type a message in iOS 8, iOS 8 will predict what you're trying to say and give you some options so that you can text a little bit quicker. It's context sensitive too, so you'll get different suggestions if you're writing an email to your boss versus a text message to your friends. Now all of the autocorrect suggestions stay local on your phone, which is really good news for people concerned about privacy. Second are some new changes to the Mail app. If you used Mailbox before, some of these features will look similar. You can now half swipe to get some new options for quickly trashing a message or doing something else with it. A few other convenient features that are new in the Mail app will let you quickly add a calendar appointment or a contact to your lists. A third feature that's new in iOS 8 is the ability to turn on Do Not Disturb for group text messages. This will let you get out of a text message thread by thread, so you won't have to deal with any more group messages when you don't want to be on them. This is a really great feature. The fourth new feature is called HealthKit. This is going to be a new app and some changes on the back end that will let you pull in health data from other apps and external devices. You'll be able to put everything all together to count your steps, how much you weigh, and even things like blood pressure. This feature should come as no surprise to people following news. It's been a rumor about Apple for quite some time now. The final feature I want to call out is called Continuity. This is a really big improvement for people who are also Mac users. Now, anytime your iPhone or iPad is in proximity to your Mac, they'll automatically connect to one another and hotspot. So if you're on your Mac, say you're looking up information about a restaurant and you want to call that restaurant, your Mac will communicate with your phone to make the phone call, but you can actually use your Mac speakers and microphone to do it. This is a really wonderful feature. It's going to have lots of automation in it, so you won't have to do very much at all to use it. Right now, only Apple developers can get their hands on iOS 8, but we think it's going to be coming out soon in September or October for everybody else. For more news on iOS 8 and other Apple coverage, check out PCNAG.com.